Today's video is sponsored by War Thunder. This is a teenager named Peter Parker, but you probably know him better by his alter ego, Spider-Man. But he wasn't always a superhero. In fact, his life used to be completely normal, trying to keep up with schoolwork, spending time with his family, Uncle Ben and Aunt May, and hanging out with friends at school. Not to mention trying to work up the courage to talk to Mary Jane, the crush he's had since he was eight years old. It was a field trip to Oscorp Laboratory that would change his life forever. But first, we gotta build the lab. The roof uses a bunch of small window panes that pressure fit into place to give it a modern scientific look. And these tanks and ventilation modules are essential to the lab's functions. Inside, you'll find a team of elite scientists carrying out research and genetic experiments, performing tests on a variety of species. The lab is led by Norman Osborne, the scientific genius and visionary behind Oscorp's groundbreaking innovations. When Peter and the rest of the students arrived, they were given a tour of the lab. What no one realized was that one of the genetically modified spiders had escaped. From that small bite, Peter Parker would gain incredible powers. But that wasn't the only transformation to happen in this lab. That night, Norman Osborn was conducting his own confidential experiment. When the vial exploded, it shattered his mind, and the Green Goblin was born, giving rise to Spider-Man's greatest enemy. Peter's new spider powers let him shoot webs, and he has amazing reflexes. With sticky hands and feet, he can climb the skyscrapers of New York. However, he isn't Spider-Man yet. On a Saturday afternoon, Uncle Ben drove Peter down to the convenience store so he could pick out some snacks with his allowance. Suddenly, a robber burst in. Pulling out a gun, he demanded the money. Too scared to act, Peter cowered behind the shelves. The robber bolted out the door. Hey. Peter burst out the doors, but it was too late. As Peter knelt down beside him, his uncle's faint voice whispered, Peter, remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh. In that moment, he vowed to use his powers to protect others. But first, a moment for today's sponsor, War Thunder, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made that you can play today for free on computer, console, and even your cell phone. Like LEGO, some of War Thunder's coolest features are the insanely detailed models built with a ton of component parts, but be careful, each part is susceptible to damage. And trust me, planes don't fly the same way when their propellers and wings have been blown off. And if a vehicle is destroyed, War Thunder's X-ray view will show you exactly what happened, putting you right in the action. With over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships from 10 different nations spanning over 100 years of history and a worldwide community of over 70 million players battling it out in epic PvP matches, War Thunder's realistic graphics and authentic sound effects will keep you entertained for hours. Play War Thunder today for free on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, or mobile by using my links in the video's description or pinned comment. And for this limited time offer, you'll get a massive bonus pack that includes 7 days of premium account access, 100,000 Silver Lions and an exclusive Eagle of Valor vehicle decorator. This bonus is for new and returning players on PC and consoles who have been inactive for six months. Thank you, War Thunder. If Peter was going to fight crime, he knew he'd need a suit for his secret identity, so he set to work in his bedroom, which is what we're building now. It's filled with all of the usual things you'd find, from dressers and shelves to dirty laundry and knickknacks. On his hand-me-down computer, he's researching genetics to develop his prototype, and borrowing Aunt May's scissors and sewing machine, he stitches together his first suit. Its design is simple but effective, allowing him to crawl on walls without needing to expose his hands and feet. Spider-Man's crime-fighting journey began with stopping robbers, so our next build is a jewelry store. Its sign uses sloped tiles for its diamond logo. Inside, it's filled with shining gold ornaments and priceless gemstones. This large clear wall panel is the perfect piece for creating a display case that houses sparkling diamonds, pearls, and rings. The jeweler, Vito Goodstone, is absorbed in a ruby inspection, oblivious hmm. to the plot developing just outside his doors. <laughs> Didn't your mother ever teach you that stealing is wrong? Hey! Whoa! I have to be more careful. As the police officers pulled onto the scene, they realized their work had been accomplished and that they had Spider-Man to thank for that. And through their cooperation, Spider-Man and New York's finest will hunt down and stop countless criminals. However, being Spider-Man wasn't always easy. 
and sometimes criminals would get the upper hand, giving him a real beating. On top of being a superhero, he still had to manage all of his responsibilities as a student, or at least try to. His constant web-slinging burned so much energy that he was always hungry, and it seemed like every time he turned around, MJ was getting into trouble. Oh, don't get your diapers in a bunch! Wait, come back! One day she was out walking when the Green Goblin swooped down, kidnapping her as bait for Spider-Man. He flew her to a construction zone, which is our next build. On its multiple levels, it's full of scaffolding, tools, construction tape, paint cans, and other details, making it the perfect environment for an epic showdown. <laughs> Mary Jane! Looking for me, boy? <laughs> Peter had overcome his arch nemesis. Spider-Man's ability to fight crime didn't go unnoticed. Soon, he caught the attention of Tony Stark, the one and only Iron Man, who invited him to come see his lab. He even offered to help Peter upgrade his suit using state-of-the-art Stark tech. And working together, they developed sets of armor and weapon loadouts to tackle any threat they might face. With Tony's assistance, Peter built the Spider-Man headquarters. It not only houses all of his various suits from the Electro Armor to the Iron Spider, but is also the perfect place to research and prepare for upcoming missions. At this computer, he can track events and persons of interest. This spider containment chamber holds specimens that Peter studies to better understand his own enhanced abilities. He even invented this spider droid to help him on stealth operations. For emergencies, he also installed a confinement chamber to lock up rogue supervillains. And to top it off, he designed a spider motorcycle. His headquarters is fully equipped for missions and doubles as an epic hangout spot. After proving himself, Spider-Man joined the Avengers, Earth's mightiest heroes, which brings our story to Avengers Tower. To build it, I used a combination of my own techniques along with those found in these sets. It opens to reveal multiple levels, which I outfitted with a ton of features and equipment. On the ground floor, you'll find Iron Man's armory, housing the Silver Centurion, one of Tony's coolest suits. It's surrounded by various readouts and a control arm. The next floor up is Captain America's quarters. His helmet and shield are in one corner, and his classic suit is in the other. Above that is the War Machine Hall of Armor, and on the top floor you'll find a balcony, as well as an area for Avengers to hang out and eat some food as they plan to save the world. The tower also houses mysterious relics, and this staff that could obliterate an entire city block. It's time for Spider-Man to face his first Avengers level threat, Magneto, who has teamed up with Ultron. Eliminate target. Shall we dance? Take cover! Despite Magneto's and Ultron's incredible powers, they are defeated by the Avengers. With Ultron entirely destroyed and Magneto neutralized with demagnetizing cuffs, Spider-Man has proven himself an indispensable part of the team. As the years go on, Spider-Man faces countless other threats and villains. On one occasion, he's even pulled into a different dimension. There, he gets to join an entire Spider team, sharing some tricks along the way. And through his heroic acts, Spider-Man was not only able to influence his friendly neighborhood, but the entire world for countless generations to come. Thank you again to War Thunder, and don't forget to sign up today on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, or mobile with my links to get your massive bonus pack, available for new and returning players on PC and consoles who have been inactive for six months.